Hello class, this is Ms. Augustine, and we are still in Chapter 1, which is about matter and change. So if we're going to talk about matter and its properties, we should probably begin by figuring out what we mean by matter. So what is matter? Not what's the matter, but what is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. So when we talk about matter, we often talk about substances. So what do I mean when I say a substance? I mean matter that has uniform and definite composition. So if it's uniform throughout and it has a definite composition, we call it a substance. Pure substances contain only one type of matter, where mixture would contain more than one substance. So when I'm talking about a pure substance, I mean something that contains only one type of matter. So then what is mass? Because the definition of matter was anything that has mass. Um, so mass is the amount of matter that an object contains. This all sounds like double speak, doesn't it? But again, mass is the amount of matter that an object contains. So we know that some things have more mass than others. So for instance, if I'm talking about a beach ball versus a bowling ball, I know that a bowling ball has more mass because it has more stuff in it than a beach ball, which would contain mostly air, which is very um, not dense. So then we talk about mass versus weight. Mass is the amount of matter that an object contains, and weight is a measure of the force of gravity on an object. So here I like to give an example. If I um, step on a scale on planet Earth, where I am, um, I have a particular weight, and that is a function of the force of gravity on planet Earth. If I go into a rocket and land at the International Space Station, my mass is all still there. However, I am weightless because there is zero gravity. Whereas if I were to land on the surface of the moon and through magic was able to weigh myself, I would weigh less than I weigh on Earth because the moon's gravity is less than that on Earth. And if I were to go up to, I think it's Jupiter, and weigh myself, I might have a mass of, or a weight of three times that of Earth because the gravity is three times Earth's gravity. So my weight, depending on whether I'm on Earth, or the moon, where it would be less, or for instance, Jupiter, where my weight would be considerably more, is a function of gravity where my mass will not have changed. So now we go to what is an atom. So atoms are the smallest units of elements that still maintain the chemical identity and properties of a particular element. And when we talk about matter, and we talk about what matter is made up of, it's made up of these building blocks that are atoms, or in some cases molecules. And I say molecules because some of our elements don't exist as free atoms, they exist as molecules, and we'll learn about that in a little bit. So atoms are our building blocks. So that leads us to talking about elements. Elements are pure substances that cannot be broken down into simpler stable substances and are made up of one type of atom. And by that we mean by normal means. So the simplest form of an element is an atom. And again, elements are pure substances um, in their most stable state. And again, they only consist of one type of atom. So it's the simplest form of matter that can exist under so-called normal conditions. So now we need to talk about what a compound is. So a compound is a substance that can be broken down into simple, stable substances. Each compound is made up 
of atoms of two or more elements that are chemically combined. So with a compound, you don't just have one type of element present, you have two or more elements present. And again, if you are breaking it down into a smaller substance, it would be into its constituent elements. So a molecule is the simplest unit of an element or compound that still has the properties of that element or compound. And I say element because I'm reminding you that um, some elements exist as diatomic molecules. And we'll learn about this in a little bit, but there's about seven um, elements that don't exist as free atoms. They exist as molecules. And oxygen and hydrogen are two examples. So for now, I'm going to leave it off with our discussion of what a compound is. So this is Ms. Augustine signing off.